Welcome back, everybody, to 70s Down Alpha 21. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. And we are going to do our very first Tier 4 infested uh, in this series. And we're going to do it at the Serrano Residence, which I didn't know this was called the Serrano Residence, but I've done this POI many times. And for those of you who may not know, it has a huge underground mad scientist laboratory. And wow, we this is going to be challenging. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's give it a try and see what happens. Um, first thing we'll do is go out and check this mailbox. I did check it before I started the video, and there was just, there was a magazine that wasn't anything real significant. Um, it's even worse. I'm going to get rid of that stuff there for sure. Okay, so this is a clear because I think all the infesteds are always clears. And uh, that door is locked. Does it want us to start up here on the roof? I don't remember. St oh, yeah, I do actually remember starting on the roof because I think we dropped down. Don't we drop down into the kitchen? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done this up, uh, this POI, so. All right, maybe. Maybe that's not where we start. I mean, the light's right here, so does that mean we go in here? That door's locked. That door's locked. Where we're supposed to go in at. I know we start on the upper floor, of course, but hmm, that door's locked too. Um. All right. Well, I mean, the light is here by the trellis. So what am I missing? Whoops. <laughs> Let's just go up here again. I thought we went up on the roof and then dropped down into the kitchen. Ah, yes, exactly. I was just on the wrong side of the house. Okay. I was on the wrong side of the house. So this might get interesting. We don't make any noise when we... When we uh, jump down as long as we're crouched, because we got that perk. Okay. So we got a Zombo right there. You know what, though? I don't want to be trapped in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is see if we can open this door back up without waking anyone up. Okay, that worked. <laughs> so that way we can at least go outside um, if things get uh, crazy, which they will. I promise you that. They are going to get crazy. Let's loot the kitchen first here. Okay, so can we... I can't quite get up there. Okay. I was trying to get up on the counter so I could get a a headshot off on this dude, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Alright, is everybody loaded? Everybody is loaded. Okay, let's see if we can... I mean, I think that's the the brim of his little hoodie there, but it's too buried inside the cupboard for me to get a good shot off. I see two dots that have appeared. Uh, I don't see the other Zeke. At the moment. Let's just quietly draw him out here. I don't see that other red dot moving. So I think we're good. Oops. It's right behind that corner, it looks like. Let's see if we can get... There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy shot there. But they're not all going to be like that. Possibly a zombo in that cabinet. I don't know though. Wouldn't they show up as a red dot if they were in there? 
Yeah, I think they would. Oh, nice stuff. Uh, we're wearing the college jacket for the faster run speed, and I think I'd prefer to keep that. Uh, but we have a duster back at the base for desert garb. So we could compare this one and then sell whichever one's the lesser. Okay, let's see. I think we can get that headshot off there. Okay, there's someone else in here. Probably behind the curtain. Yeah, I just saw their head move. Can we... That didn't wake him up. There we go. Okay. I, I guess I was thinking I could shoot through the cloth and penetrate through, but it, it, it apparently didn't work that way, so... Fair enough. Not very realistic, but fair enough. Okay, I think that's it for this room. Okay, that was the easy part, guys. <laughs> Trust me, that was the absolute easy part. Does this door close? Yes, it does. Oh, shit. I was just going to say, let's get this thing upgraded. Um, You know, so we can utilize it. Down into the basement. Okay, there is... That's going to be a tricky headshot, maybe. Let's see. Nope. Never mind. There's Zombo down in this corner here. I don't think so. There is a trash. No Zombo Doodle. All right, let's um, let's go over here. And grab this, and then this allows us to kind of look into that next area. <clears throat> but I don't see anything in there, so. Okay, let's get this out of here. Now we can close this again if we need to. Okay, it's a steel door. So we can definitely try and use that to our advantage. And down into the bowels we go. We could use this ladder to our advantage as well. Um, yeah, that's actually good. Um, we have we have multiple fallback places as needed. Multiple fallback places. I don't think this collapses, does it? Nope. Still nobody. Okay. <clears throat> you know what that means. It just means there's going to be so many of them <laughs> um, grouped up at the very end. But why don't we get our explosives on our toolbar? Because I have a feeling we might need to use them. Okay. Let's try this door. Ooh, look at the, look at all the freebies we're going to get here.
Okay, so it's just the one guy who woke up. Okay, we have one more active in here. Big Mama. Oh, no, it isn't. Nobody up there yet, huh? They either haven't spawned in or they just, it just hasn't registered on the... The red dot meter. That's nothing. Okay, so I think we have to go to the right, but let's... Uh, take Quick peek over here. Yeah, look at the psalms in here. We can't get to them from here, though, unless we cheat a little bit and break stuff, which we're not going to do. All right. Is this door locked? Nope. But we're going to go through here. I think there's going to be a zombie up above in this room, if I remember right. If it's the same as it used to be. Yeah, I think there's some zombies in the ceiling up there. And this is probably a trigger and not a stealth situation. So as soon as we get all the way in this room, they're going to probably spawn. So let's be prepared for that. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> I was expecting them to spawn by now. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll take that. <clears throat> okay, let's get up on the ladder. So they're going to, I think they're, are they going to come through these vents? I think as soon as we jump over to that vent, that's what causes the trigger. I think. There's obviously nobody up here yet though. So let's jump up here and then we can quickly drop back down and go through that door. Oh, I bet you something. Nope, never mind. Okay. Hmm. Again, the fact that uh, we're not seeing all that many of them makes me really nervous for what's going to happen at the end. Here's a victim. All right. Well, so far, so good. Our stealth build is really paying off so far. Is that that door on the other side that was locked that I said I'm not going to open it? Probably. I'll leave that stuff there. Let's go up here. So I guess we've cleared this side of the facility. Is it possible we can't open that door? 
Okay. Yep, we need to go up. I'm going to eat this both for the food and the health. And how long does this last? Six minutes. Let's get ready to pop these because I think we're going to, we're going to have them for the last part of this. You guys know this is a tier four infested. You know, this is going to get nasty. I, I'm surprised it's been so light so far, but it's that fact is making me nervous as I'll get out. good headshot for hazmat but I got a perfect one for him there we go okay upper room is cleared but it's when we drop down here that things are gonna get fun let's check the kitchen here Okay, so let's think about this. With our parkour, we should be able to very easily jump back up here. Um, but I want to make sure we have a nice clear path that our head's not hitting something while we're in panic mode. Okay, so that should be a real easy retreat for us. Ooh, okay. I think this would be a good time for us to take one of these. So we're doing it. Here we go. Okay, we got red dots all over the place, but nobody's actually aggroed. I only see three zombies in here. I thought there was going to be more than that. Let's take another one of these because that Fort Bites is going to make us really thirsty. Uh, yeah, that's definitely worth taking and selling. Why don't we scrap these and these? And eh, no, that's worth fixing and selling too. The other Zeke, I think, is in there. Maybe. Maybe actually over here. There it is. Okay, that door's locked. Okay, let's see what's in this room. I don't remember. We have one Zeke in here. There's probably glass there, though, so let's slide over this way. There we go. Ooh. 
Whew, okay. That's pretty nice stuff. All right, something's got to go because I'm not going back up. This can be scrapped. And I think, um, let's check the bones. We will obviously have to come back for the fat loots after we go back up and drop stuff off. All right, we're 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 actually at the end. This is an infested quest, right? It seems like it's just way too easy. I know I shouldn't be saying such things, but I'm going to get myself killed. If we can open this first... Well, here, let's take advantage of these shots while we have them. We're pretty much almost guaranteed to one-shot anything that isn't an irradiated. I only see one red dot left. It must be behind those boxes there. All right, here, let's do this. We might as well go up and drop off at the bike. And let's kill Edgar, too. He's been driving me nuts. This thing does not stop as quickly as I expect it to. Okay, we we I guess we only have one Zeke left, unless it's going to surprise us. Okay. What am I missing here? <laughs> what am I missing here? This is supposed to be a frickin' tier four infested. That was way too easy. I'm not complaining per se, but it does make me wonder if something's broken. I've had tier three infestations that were way more dangerous than this one was. Well, okay, let's um, we'll check the loot. We'll check the, the good stuff first. We're doing things in reverse. Usually I save the best for last, but this time we're doing the best first. Why? I have no idea. It's just the way it is. We'll have to wait till tomorrow now to do the turn in, of course, but that's all right. A magnum. I can actually make, I think I can actually make a blue magnum now. How much is this worth? Yeah, it's probably worth selling, but if we scrap it, we get, yeah, I'm just going to scrap it for the part. Ooh, nice. We got another abandoned armor plating. That's good. All right, let's start looting here. Isn't spaghetti the the top food? No, uh, gumbo is. Okay. Yeah, so 10 more points, then, then we've got food completely maxed out. And you know, this is my second playthrough of Alpha 21. And both times I only put one point into Master Chef. And I still had no trouble getting to the end. So it's nice, but it also seems a little bit unbalanced because... It, you know, it reduces the incentive to spec any higher into Master Chef. Why bother doing it if you don't have to, you know? Oh, there's a chem station thingy over here. All right, we already checked that. Um, all right, so that's it. I mean, that seemed like... That seemed like a normal 
tier four to me. That did not seem like an infested at all, but the way it worked, um, we didn't get anything super amazing out of it. Probably actually this is, you could almost argue was the best thing that we got out of it. Um, and I don't think I have anything I can put that on currently because we already got one on the helmet. We already have one on the chest piece. We don't have room. Well, no, I guess we already have one on there. Oh, we might have room to put it on here. Oh, we do. Beautiful. That is great. Okay, so we have we have the best armor upgrades, the banded upgrades on every single piece of armor. And these give two armor per, so that's fantastic. I didn't even need to take that um that fort bites at all, but I I mean I was expecting this to be nasty. <laughs> It was lemon squeezy, you guys. Lemon squeezy. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to mine until morning. Uh, no, I'm going to actually probably mine until wrecked opens. Then we'll do the turn in, and then we're going to take another tier four chop. So I will see you at that point in time. Okay, guys, it is morning, and I forgot that today is uh, a new reset day for the traders. Um, so we're going to have to make ourselves a bunch of repair kits because I've got a crap ton of stuff to sell. So let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, i got to grab forged iron out of here. All right, so we're going to make 20 of those. We'll see how far that gets us. I did do a little bit of mining overnight, not not long, a whole lot because uh, it took me a good part of the night just to get all my inventory taken care of because this I had a full chest of stuff here from last time. Uh, okay, so stuff that we have for sale. Um, actually, let me check this. I got spaghetti, sham chowder, hobo stew, and coffee cooking up in the stove here. Let's take and put that in there. And we'll hang, keep that spaghetti with us for food. Okay, so we got everything in here to sell. And we have everything in here to sell. Which is a lot of crap. <laughs> um, so... Let's um, let's take all of the stuff that does not need to be repaired first and just go put that in the bike. Okay, so that just leaves all of this stuff here. I guess, I'd, I guess we don't have quite as many things uh, to repair as I thought. Um, hold on a second. I had a uh, cloth armor piece. Did I repair that? I did not. Okay. None of this stuff here needs repairing. But all of this stuff here does. How much is one of these worth? Oh, yeah. It's worth burning a repair kit. I mean, <clears throat> because we we have the resources for it now. So if we were tight on the resources, I would not probably do that. Um, we can't repair these, but if we use it to build a vehicle later or put it in a battery bank, it'll it'll repair automatically. So we'll just hang on to that. Oop, 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 oop. What am I doing? Am I repairing? Oh, I am. Sorry. For a minute there, I thought I'd spaced off and started scrapping that. Okay, so let's put um, uh, you in here. We really don't need all of these batteries here either. I mean, we would if we did a battery bank, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Um, so... That doesn't go in there. I think we're good to go. Okay. Let's grab those two things out of there. I'll put that in there. We'll put this in here. Now, as far as mods go, uh, we can put this on the machete to increase its value signif significantly. We can put one of these on uh, the pistol. Do I... Let's see, we've got a reflex sight on here. We don't have a reflex sight on here. Why don't I? I don't know. We do now. Not 
sure why I forgot to do that. So we got a reflex sight, reflex sight, reflex sight. That doesn't have enough slots for a reflex sight. Okay. Let's modify this though, and we'll put this on here. Right now it's worth 545. That increases it to 872. Its value. Um. Can, uh, can you put club mods on this? I don't know. You cannot. Okay, I didn't think so. We sure haven't found very many clubs in this game. <clears throat> uh, I want to keep the silencer. I don't have an extra shotgun for the duck bill or the tube extender. This we could put on the those legs that we're going to sell. Yeah, these right here. So right now those are worth 132. Now they're worth 660. We over tripled, uh, more than tripled the price on those, which is great. Okay, so we've got a decent amount of stuff. I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna get make a ton of money, but we'll make some. And um, what I want to do, let's just have you make as much steel as you can for the moment, which isn't a whole lot. All right, we were gonna put this on here. So right now this is worth 763. If we modify it, it's now worth. 1,091. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, and I think I have all of my coin with me too, so we're currently sitting at 28,000 coin. So yeah, let's go uh, do our turn in for Wrecked, and if he has um, something we want to buy, we'll pop our awesome sauce and all that now and just sell all this stuff. If he doesn't, then we'll make the usual rounds. Oh, we got a point to spend too. And I don't think I'm going to put any more points at present anyways into uh, Grease Monkey. What I am going to do since it's selling day is I'm going to put that point into Daring Adventurer. But we're also going to start pumping Physician too. And, I, you know, I mean, we, we we have no trouble making money. I'll probably put points in Better Barter later on when I, I'm just kind of, figured, you know, looking for stuff to spend it on. But for now, this is far more important to me because this is what increases uh, or, you know, gives the trader better stuff for us. All right, let's do our turn in first. Wipe that smirk off your face. Doing this. Make this is Got it. a decent improvement over what we have. And that's 997. This, however, oh my goodness. If we wanted to respec into tanky, tanky sledgy build, this would give us, uh, you know, a, a, a top end sledge, or we could sell it and make a ton of money. <clears throat> but honestly, this is more valuable to us. This is more useful to us. Plus, it's going to have uh, another. Probably another slot or two more than this. So I think we're going to take this. Okay, cool. All right, now let's take a look at your inventory and see what you have for sale. He's got a Willy Jeep. See, that's the other thing about putting points into um, Grease Monkey is we make enough money and we can just outright buy buy these things but there's you know of course no guarantee what's going to be available okay this is something to think about but it's not something we absolutely need right now especially since we're not really specced into those things well how about okay you browse your ass right out of my store let's take the next job from him we have um, an infested clear here. Look, blockhead, I'll give I you I think work, this is like a lodge. Better don't just stand there. So we're not going to get to that, of course, in this episode, but at least we'll have it to get started when we're ready. All right, guys, I will meet you at Trader Bob in the Wasteland next. What you got, Bob? Each day is a blessing. He's got a junker bike. I don't think that's probably any different or better than what we already have, though. Man. Come back 
tomorrow. He doesn't have crap either. Uh, you know what I want, though? I want to get some... Uh, some of these... For uh, getting gas. And... Did I check to see if he had vehicle books? He'd be the guy that would sell them the most, I would think. I didn't look for those specifically. No, he doesn't. Okay. Oh, my apologies. <clears throat> Man, I put another I put another point in uh, Darren Adventure, and the their inventories look like shit. It's just luck of the draw, you know. And we still have three more traders to, to check as well. All right, we'll see you, Jens. What's up, Jen? If you're uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Great Heights Volume 5. That's the one falling carrying dupes. Uh, let's buy that. I know I don't, I'm not getting the discount at the moment, but that's not that much money. I'll buy the duct tape too. Other than that, she thanks for the business. Doesn't really well, have a whole lot. Dawn to dusk, since, you know, you a few more of those. I'm gonna buy a Rockbusters too. Okay, let's go check uh, Trader Joel. Take your time. Hey Joel. Um. Okay. Do, do. He's got an armor magazine. This is the one for the coyotes. Yeah, we saw that last time. Man. Well, there's always shamway up the road. You can try looting. <coughs> These guys have crap. We have one more chance to find something good. And if... Uh, Trader Bob 2 doesn't have anything good. I'm just going to sell everything I have to him because what I'm going to need to do on the way home is wrench some cars to get more gas for this bike. Yeah, I don't have space to uh, take everything back with us. Let's go see what he's got. All right, Bob, we need those dirt bike accessories. Burning shaft mod, nail gun. Da, da, da. Vehicles. Okay, let's not hold up and mind this for just a second. Got a nice impact driver, but you know, we'll eventually find one of those or get one a better one in the quest. And the orange one actually works pretty good. That's just a hell of a lot of money, is all. At this point, anyways, for us. Got a couple blue machetes. Why don't any of these guys ever have any military armor? I don't know. Oh, my apologies. Okay. Take back again and I may have what you're looking for. So we're going to take this. We're gonna take this. We're gonna take this. We're going to Take those mods off of there. Put them on here, and we have one more slot for something else later. And let's go back to here and buy your vehicle books. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, that didn't get us our gasoline yet, but. Okay, let's start selling stuff to him. So this machete is going to bring us in some bank. And this, we really ought to take this back home with us and get some mods on it before we sell it. Because we will make so much more money. So I think we will. Um, You could say the same thing for this, but I don't know what goes on it. So we're just going to sell it. And well, he took all of those hunting knives. How about that? Um, let's buy these two eye candies while we got... Oh, I guess the discount doesn't apply to this stuff. I just now noticed that. Okay. Fair enough.
Okay, I think that's it. That gets us up to 40, oh, almost 45,000 coin. Um, <coughs> why don't we buy this? Wait, you can I make that? Sometime. I can't. I'll put it on our blue pick to make it a little stronger. And I like these on mining tools because it just light lights up the, the mine a little better, even more than the, Thanks for shopping uh, here. you know, than Come the mining again. does. Cool. Okay. Otherwise, yeah, there just isn't really a whole lot more I am interested in. I would be interested in this. We, I mean, how does this compare to the one we have? It does 27.9 more block damage, which basically means I'll be able to, um, you know, wrench cars that much faster. What the hell? It's only money. Much obliged, stranger. Okay, let's modify this. Take these things off of here. Put them onto here. Pair this. And sell this to him. Well, again, though, I really should wait until I can put some extra mods on it. Just the same deal with the pick. Okay, so we still have a little over 20,000 coin here. Well, there's and, always sham you know, as if you can try looting. As I've very clearly demonstrated, we have absolutely no trouble making money. <laughs> Especially now that we're into tier 4. So, um I'm going to wrench my way back home so I can get more gasoline in this guy with our shiny new impact driver and some hacker candies. If there's enough time left in d day 34, when I start the next episode, we'll do our next tier four for wrecked. If there isn't, then we'll, I'll, I'll probably bring you back on day 35 during the day and we'll figure something out. I don't know. I, I, I do need to get the, the horde base fixed up. I'm not going to do anything new to it other than just reinforce the, the hell out of it. And hope that, you know, that it works for us for day 35. Uh, because I don't have another short-term solution in plan for the Horde base. But I do have a long-term big Horde base build um, plant. But I, as I told you guys, I think in, in the last episode or two ago, I don't have it fully fleshed out yet. And so until I do, I'm not going to share with you what that's going to be. All right, guys. With that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. There's a lot of cars here. We're going to get some gas.